Hello everyone and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we're gonna have our first live demo into applying Microsoft Copilot in Outlook. So if you remember in the previous lecture, I showed you how to um, leverage um, Copilot in Outlook. And this is simply what it looks like, I would say. It's gonna be a pop-up menu here. You can go ahead, write the prompt and email will be generated for you. I also showed you the capabilities of Microsoft Copilot in Outlook into writing everyday emails, becoming innovative, replying to emails, and also coaching as well and writing better emails. So let's go ahead and actually see that in practice. Of course, if you go ahead and click on Explore Prompts, that is going to direct you to our favorite document here. It's the same document that we used before. Right now, we're in Module 16, and we are covering Copilot with Outlook and emails. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you how to write everyday emails with Copilot. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go back and I'm going to open Outlook. So here we go. So here is Outlook. And if you simply go and say, I would like to create, let's say, a new email, for example. Actually, maybe I can delete that. And let's assume that here you opened uh, Outlook. You sign in as well here. So you make sure that you are signing in in the settings here with your uh, account that has Copilot license associated with it. So you should be able to see Copilot appearing kind of pretty much everywhere. So for example, here you, find, you should be able to find summary by Copilot and the Copilot sign, and you should be able to see Copilot here appearing as well. That indicates that it is successfully installed and the license is activated as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and let's assume that I would like to create a new email. I can just say new email here. And of course, you should be able to see draft with Copilot. So now I can go ahead and click on draft with Copilot. And you should be able to write a prompt similar to, I would say, ChatGPT or just the regular uh, Copilot that I showed you earlier. You can just say the following. I'm going to say, please, I want you to write an email to my coworker, Sarah, about the self checkout expansion project, let's say, at Walmart. So now if you say generate, here we go. An email has been created for you. It's magic, I would say. And you should be able to see that here. Hi, Sarah. I hope this message or this email finds you well. I wanted to touch base with you regarding the self-checkout expansion project at Walmart. It's quite an exciting initiative, isn't it? There is a lot of to discuss and coordinate as we move forward with the project. Please note that here I didn't mention any details about the project, right? I didn't mention anything and just AI came up with ideas, basically. So he's going to ask you for, I would love to hear about your insights. Secondly, I think it would be beneficial for us to schedule a meeting to review our current status. So it makes sense. It doesn't even sound robotic, I would say. To me, it sounds like a human pretty much wrote it. And of course, it's going to get better and better over time. But here, we haven't provided any context to the AI. So what I could do is I can actually go ahead and do here. I can modify the content. So I can say, I would like to make it shorter. I would like to make it longer and I can go ahead and change the tone as well. So you can make it direct, casual, formal, and like a poem. Please note that I'm going to show you these capabilities in the next lecture. But for now, let's assume that, for example, you forgot to add something. So now I would like to, if I go back and I can say, I forgot to add that the deadline for this task is scheduled in seven days and it's critically important to meet the scheduled deadline. So now I'm giving it some details, some context, for example. So now here we go. So now you should be able to see the email has been rewritten for you. And here we go. So now you should be able to see uh, back to Copilot. Here we go. Here is the seven days. So also please note that the deadline of this task is scheduled in seven days and it's critically important to meet the scheduled deadline. So now you can integrate kind of some decisions as well uh, or decision making ability in your emails using Copilot. If you're happy with it, you can go ahead and keep it. If not, you can discard it. And please note that these are the different draft versions, which is I really like. So now to keep track, this is what the old version, this is the newer one, right? With the new information. And that's it. That's all I have for this quick, I would say, lecture on how to write everyday emails with Copilot. In the next lecture, I'm gonna show you how to use Copilot to write creative, innovative emails. Please stay tuned, best of luck, and I'll see you in the next one.